Hello! Welcome to the Integral Calculus video, Trig Substitutions with Constants. The intensity of this video is medium. My name is Professor Michael Polyuk. The learning objectives for this video are, by the end of this video, you should be able to make a trig substitution that involves constants, for example, the integral of square root of 9 minus 4x squared. Let's start with some motivation. So we know that trig substitutions can be used to solve integrals that have a square root of 1 minus x squared, or a square root of x squared minus 1, or a square root of 1 plus x squared. And the 1 in these three things is actually special. So it's coming from the 1 that's in Pythagoras, either cos squared plus sine squared equals 1, or 1 plus tan squared equals secant squared. So that 1 is special. So if we have an integral that has different constants, how do we adjust for that, and how do we solve those ones? That's what we're going to be doing in this video. Our motivating example is going to be the integral with the square root of 25x squared minus 4. So we start off with the tan secant version of Pythagoras and solving for um, getting something that looks like a square minus a constant will give us tan squared is secant squared minus 1. So this is what we're going to start with. And the first thing we're going to do is get the 4 involved. And the way that we're going to get the 4 involved is by multiplying through by 4. So if you multiply that equation through by 4, you get your minus 4 that shows up. We also have a square root in our integral. So let's take the square root of both sides. And now the right-hand side is looking pretty good. So in the right-hand side, we have the square root of something squared minus 4. So we have the minus 4 correct. But how do we get the 25 to show up correctly? Right now it's a 4. So for that, we have to do something a little bit different, and that's where our u substitution comes in. So let's compare what we have with what we want. So we want the 25x squared minus 4 to be equal to the 4 secant squared minus 4. Let's solve for x, and that will tell us what our substitution should be. Add 4 to both sides gives us 25x squared equals 4 secant squared. And now solving for x gives us that x should be the square root of 4 over 25 secant or in other words, 2 over 5 secant. So by writing down what we want, we can see what our x substitution should be. OK, let's take this information and then actually complete this integral. So here's the information we have from before. So x should be 2 over 5 secant. And we know that the square root of 25x squared minus 4 will end up being 2 tan theta if we use the substitution. Now, in order to do a trig substitution, we actually have to find the derivative of x. So we do that. Derivative of secant is secant 10. So now we're ready to make all the substitutions. So the integral of the square root, the square root part we know is 2 tan theta from right here. And the dx we know is 2 fifths secant theta tan theta d theta. So that's this part right here. This is dx. OK, so now we group everything together. And we have 4 fifths integral of secant tan squared. Now, this is something we know how to do. It's a product of tans and secants. I won't finish it here, but you can look up in the textbook how to finish this problem. The main point was getting to something that we were able to solve. OK, so let's summarize this and zoom out a little bit. Was anything special about 25 and 4? So what would happen if we had different constants? So the problem is, start with the appropriate version of Pythagoras. So in our, our case, it was 1 plus tan squared equals secant squared. Multiply Pythagoras through by b squared to adjust the constant. Then set a squared x squared minus b squared to be the side of Pythagoras that you're using. Um, and then solve for x. So you have what you want and what you have. Set them equal, and that will tell you what x should be. Then make the trig substitution as normal, find the derivative, and reduce to something you know how to solve. OK, let's take this and do another example. Let's do the integral x squared over 3x squared plus 2. So the first thing to do is recognize what kind of Pythagoras are we using. So in this case, we're using 1 plus tan squared, because it looks like constant plus something squared. We fix the constant, so to get this 2 to show up, we multiply everything by 2. Now we need to figure out what x should be, so we set what we want with what we have. 
and that will tell us that 3x squared should be equal to 2 tan squared. Solving for x gives us the root 2 over 3 tan theta. Okay, now we're able to continue the trig substitution. So that's all the stuff that we know. Now we need to find the derivative of x. Derivative of tan is secant squared. And now we're able to make all the substitutions. So this is the integral that we're starting with. We replace x with what it is, right here. We replace 3x squared plus 2 with 3x squared plus 2 is 2 secant squared. So we replace it here. And then finally, the dx is this part right here, which we computed right here. Okay, so we replaced all three components that we had to uh, substitute. And now we need to actually just factor out all the constants and simplify all this. There's a secant squared and a secant squared, which will cancel, and then we'll factor out a bunch of constants. So here's the square root of 2 over 3. The 2 here becomes a 1 half, because it's in the denominator. And the square root is being squared, so we end up with 2 thirds. The secant squareds cancel, so the only thing we're left with is tan squared. Okay, and the integral of tan squared is something that you know how to solve. Okay, so here's another exercise for you. Solve the integral of the square root of 9 minus 4x squared. Here the difference is that the it's constant minus x squared, not x squared minus constant. Now let's take a moment to reflect. Does this method work for integrals of the form 9x minus 1, the square root of 9x minus 1? What are the steps in solving an integral of the form square root of b squared minus a squared x squared dx? Write down a complete solution of the exercise on the previous slide. Your solution will have many parts. Write an introduction sentence to each part that describes what you're doing. So for example, you might say, in this part, I'm solving an integral of a product of trig functions. You're going to have lots of parts, and for each of them, it's handy to, to help yourself out by saying what exactly you're doing. Okay, thank you very much, and have a great day.